Yeah. All right, hey everybody, uh, it's Cam. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for us to do a Let's Play. So finally, today is the day where you get a Let's Play. Uh, I'm gonna do a Let's Play of one of my favorite games, Enter the Gungeon. Now I have uh, this game on PC, it came out on PC I think in 2016. I have it for the Nintendo Switch also, which is where I'm gonna be playing it because I like playing it with the controller. Enter the Gungeon is a bullet hell, uh, basically bullet hell roguelike. What's gonna be interesting about this particular Let's Play is uh, I'm gonna factor in some some workout with it. A few of you know that I'm trying to do 30,000 push-ups this year. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when you sit around playing video games all day, it's quite a bit. Comes out to about 82 push-ups a day if you did it every day, which I haven't. I'm a little behind, but not that far. Um, but I have a couple of rules. Whenever those rules apply, I have to do push-ups. Let me go over the rules right quick, uh, and I'll pop them up on the screen. Some, somewhere around here, they'll be up on the screen. Uh, Alright, so uh, there are six rules that I came up with. Anytime any of these six rules happens, I have to do push-ups. Now, I won't ever do it in danger, so if I have two back-to-back, -back, then I'll have to do a set of 20 instead of a set of 10. But uh, it keeps me on my toes, it keeps me going, and it keeps me from, you know, messing up. Uh, now, if you want to do this, you can actually do this with other games. I do do this with many of the games that I'm currently playing right now. Just try to work it in. Um, but you want to make sure you have a game that is uh, that you know pretty well. Because if you don't, um, you're going to be doing lots of push-ups really quickly. And it's not going to be fun. Uh, you just want to push yourself just enough to get stuff done. And you'd be surprised by, by uh, how many you can do it in a day. Alright, so here's the rules. Whenever I enter the gungeon, whenever I start my run, I have to do 10 push-ups. Whenever I take damage in a, a non-boss room, you see and I take damage twice in the same room, that only counts as one set of push-ups. Don't get overboard with that, because uh, at the end of the game, it's going to be it's gonna be rough. Um, if I get trash or just something really, really bad from a treasure chest, I have to, or for any for anything, I have to do 10 push-ups. If I raise my curse level, which doesn't make sense now, but it will make sense once we start the game, 10 push-ups. When I finish a floor, and this is the reason why I don't add in boss damage, because uh, beating a boss without getting hit is pretty hard. If I finish a floor, I gotta do 10 push-ups. And when I die, I have to do 10 push-ups. That also means that if I die by taking non-boss damage, I have to do a set of 20. Uh, but that's why the camera is so low to the ground, uh, so you can see me actually doing my push-ups. Alright, enough with all that. Let's actually get into the game. I have it already pulled up here. And uh, we'll walk through everything. Well, Alright, this is made by Dog Roll Games. And uh, that's the thing that sets this game apart from other games, is that you have the ability to what they call dodge roll, where you can do a roll and roll over bullets. Alright, throughout the galaxy, a legend is told we're going to go through this just the first time. On a distant planet, a grand fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens. Also, if you don't like puns, and descended upon the key. If you don't like puns, you're not going to like this game. Just turn away now. If you like puns, this game is pretty much brought to you by gun puns. Though brought to ruin the ashes of that place, hold an artifact of a possible power. A gun that can kill the past. And that's basically why all of the characters are in the game. They you know, have something in the past that they need to change. Uh, you'll see that. You'll see that. Spoiling everything. Over time, the fortress and resin rebuilds. And some who hear the legend will risk everything for another shot. That's already gone. Yeah, it's already gone. To claim their prize and make what was undone, or what was done undone, they must. Oh, here we go, here we go. Into the gungeon. Into the gungeon. Into the fire. Into the gungeon. 
into the country. Alright, alright, alright. I'm done this one. Let's go. I have to go in and uh, change some stuff. Alright, so a couple of things that you want to do. Um, first of all, you want to put your hands on the table. Alright, you want to change everybody. When you play this game, turn on your cursor and change your cursor to something that is visible. Um, I had to tell Matthew this because he's playing the game and he's like, it's so hard to aim. And I was like, do you, do you have a cursor up? Anyway, just turn it on. Also turn on beast mode because it does absolutely nothing and there's something that you need to do in order to, you know, to get it. All right. Yes, I want to change the save slots. And we're going to restart here. Alright. Make sure my controls are good. Yeah, okay. There are, we're good to enter the gun, you guys. Alright, here we go. Uh, there's four characters you get to start off with. Um... We got, they all differ in, uh, they all play pretty much the same, but they all differ in uh, what they start off with and how, kind of, their mechanics. Uh, the Marine, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, actually, I like all of them just for different things. Uh, the Marine actually starts off, he's, he's more accurate than the other characters, and he starts with an extra hit and an ammo grab. Uh, the Pilot is actually my favorite of the four starters. Uh, he can pick locks at a 50% rate. Um, he also gets cheaper rates from, from stores, and he can carry two usable items. Uh, the convict starts with two different guns. Uh, she starts with a Molotov cocktail, like kind of a little bomb for her, for her active item. And uh, whenever she gets hit, she does more damage for a little period of time. And then we got the hunter who starts off with a gun and a crossbow. Um, and she has a dog that can find items for her. Now that other character over there is the second player. You can't play as that character unless you're playing two players. Uh, so we won't worry about that right now. But there are two other hidden characters. Uh, first things first, we're going to play as the Marine today. We have to do the tutorial, which uh, kind of sucks, but you, you got to do it. Alright, here to change pass, right? You're not the first, but there's no salvation here. I was like you once, I came to change the past, and now I have no future. Uh, Alright, so, we have to go down, and before we can get permission to actually enter the guns, we have to learn how the guns works. So let's do the tutorial. Um, one thing that I do appreciate about the PC version that I don't really like about the Switch version is that the loading times are a little long. Um, they made them a little better, but they are still a bit long. Alright, all the knowledge. It is Sir Manuel. Uh, well, actually, I changed my buttons. For me, it's going to be A. Um, one of the good things, the strong things about this game is you can bind your buttons to anything. Uh, so I changed mine up to play like I did on the PC. For I, for I it is Sir Manuel. Heed my words, and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. All right. So, of course, you move around, you open the door, you enter a room, try flipping the tables or kicking the barrels with the B button, with the action button. It's the same button you talk with. You can use it for cover. Uh, you can kick barrels out of the way. Kick over tables. All right, speed. Most important lesson, you can dodge roll by pressing L in a direction. You are vulnerable to gunfire during the first half of the dodge roll, but vulnerable again once you hit the ground. That's one of the things that makes this game different, because you can run around as bullet hell, you can kind of dodge through things, but every once in a while you get something like that where you can't dodge through. Alright, you can dodge through bullets and other hazards, it requires precise timing, and uh, learning how to do this right is basically a make or break for the game. When you give the word, I'll open the barrier. You use the dodge roll to reach the right side of the room without parachute. Wait until the last second and press L to begin the roll. Are you ready? Yes. Alright, ready. Go! There we go. Sweet! Alright, let's go to the next one. Use your dodge roll. 
roll to jump over the pit. Boom. 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 Alright. And it's kind of forgiving, actually, the dodgeball. first gun, the pea shooter. It's a semi-automatic, traditionally given to gungeoneers when they first arrive at the gungeon. It is incredibly weak. Med kit provides substantial healing when used, contains a small piece of fairy. Signal gun place that would provide a near constant flow of the desperate and injured. Uh, the medic, what is that? Medicine Sands Deplume? I don't know. It's, it looks like it's, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, recognize the Gungeon as a perfect place to found their practice. It's basically a doctor's office. Uh, Alright, we got the uh, Old Knight Shield, heavy with experience, it's passive. Sh the Shield of Sir Manuel, emblazoned with the, his house sigil, the Cup of Knowledge. There's a diagram on the back illustrating how to strap on a shield and examples of when to raise it. <laughs> Remarkably free of wear. Basically, he didn't know how to use it. 
All knight's helm protects knowledge, passive, a sturdy if modest helmet, once worn by a knight with an unusually large head, which is funny because all the characters in this game have large heads. Uh, but they both give armor, as you saw when I picked them up. All right, let's keep it moving. At the top right, you see each of the hearts is, a, is two bullets crossed, and then uh, the little bullet shields there are shields. All right, let's keep, let's keep going, let's keep going. Except no substitutes. Alright, uh, let's see what the description for the AK is. It's an automatic. The AK-47 is in many ways the gun against which all other guns are judged. Which is true. It's a pretty, pretty reliable gun. This affordable and reliable piece of hardware has proven itself near, in nearly any terrain or situation. Desert, jungle, snow, and dungeon were all accounted for in this timeless design. It can even fire underwater. Alright, uh, that's not, it's a reference to the, the gun in general, not any, anything in the game. There's no underwater. So, Alright, we're at the boss level. Alright, All right, I'm ready for the final challenge. Are you ready to put all you've learned to the test? Yes, let's do this. Then, face me in single combat. Alright, here we go. Let's begin, Sir Manuel of the Ball. Boom, and he's dead. Alright, I unlocked pea shooty, pea shooters, and pea shooties, pea shooters, and hegemonic credits. Wait, that shield, you found my shield. Uh, that's why we picked up the shield in the first place. Which means you know my terrible secret. Yes, Sir Manuel is dead. Spoiler, you guys. It's true, I never conquered the dungeon. I'm no longer sure this even is the gun. How humiliating. It's all that bastard's fault. Whose fault? That snake, Lochner. We were supposed to be partners. But shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. When I awoke, I was trapped in some kind of chest. I called out for help, but no one came. I'm sure it was him who shot me. I think he wanted the gun for himself, but he must not have it. How do you know he didn't make it? Because if Blockner had changed the past, I would have, he would have never come to the dungeon, neither would I. But I'm still here, so he, he must have left. Or maybe stuck in the dungeon too, but it served the best of right. So how this works is, the dungeon is actually this like evil place where you can't really leave once you go in. Or you can, but if you go too far, you're just pretty much stuck there until you can actually take the gun that can kill the past and use it. Find him, tell him Manny says hi, if you know what I mean. Got it. Alright, he has nothing left to teach me. Good luck with the dungeon and your past. Alright, sweet. Now we can properly enter the dungeon. Alright, I beat that level, so that's 10 push ups. Oh, let's get the push up counter going here. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. Woo! Alright, we're good to go. Back in the gungeon. Uh, hi, Bubs. Bubs wants to play under the gungeon, too. Alright, first things first, we need to start saving people. Uh, as you see, it's pretty empty out here, but as we go through the gungeon, we'll find locked doors with gold keys. Bubs, I am trying to do something right now. And when we save them, they will come back to the... To the... <sighs> come here. To the gungeon with us. And we'll be able to use them to buy their stuff, or help them out, or get new secrets. Bubs! I'm gonna spray you. That'll do it. Alright. So, let's enter the gungeon. You're gonna have to move. I'm doing push-ups down there. Alright, they're gonna, gonna talk to them. You are now ready to enter the gungeon. Alright. Woo, here we go. We're about to enter the gungeon. Move, bubs. Ugh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. If you didn't know, uh, Bubs is my cat, and he is underneath me while I was doing this push-up, so that was a little tougher. All right, what's the counter up to 20? I think it's up to 20. All right, let's say there's a gun news. Here we go. So far, we unlocked the pea shooter, obviously. Uh, the Marine sidearm, always with you, semi automatic. It has infinite ammo, does not reveal walls, um, secret walls, just like all those starter guns do, don't. You also can't drop them, which is important later. The Marine sidearm was brought to the gungeon by a low ranking Primerdine soldier. Premier Dine? Pr Primer Dine? Premier? We're gonna say pr Premier Dine soldier. Though the gun is, appears sturdy, it has been known to fail when it's most needed. That actually doesn't happen. Thank goodness. Uh, Alright, supply drop. I need mags. Active. Calls in an ammo drop. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. You use it and a uh, supply drop comes in. Uh, military training. Hold facing enemy. Uh, passive. Memories of your years in training. Better reload speeds and weapon accuracy. Like I said, the Marine starts with this. So. All right, here we go. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go, go. I'm trying to hit right already. Let's barely paying attention. All right. Uh, one thing you'll see me do is um, in any floor of the dungeon, I always try to play through the entire thing, uh, like unlock everything. Just because you never know what you're gonna miss. Um, every floor has at least two treasure chests on it. So you'll definitely see me try to get those, but just in general. All right, here we go. Third time he starts firing right to you and he closes up all the rest of the shops for the game. So don't fire your gun in the shop. Uh, if you need to test your gun, walk outside and fire it. Another thing is uh, if you're playing this game, avoid trying to buy guns. Just buy keys. You need keys and uh, you just kind of go with what you get. Alright, this guy is the creep, the cell creep. You can uh, drop items down the road and shoot to sell them to them and he'll give you money for them. Or uh, shells as they are in this game. All right, let's keep it. Keep it. Going. Right, there we go. Um, another thing, playing this game, the best thing to do is uh, try to 
try to identify a sweet breath of boss. We'll come back there. Try to identify who the most dangerous enemy in the room is. Just take them out first. You'll definitely see me do it on the regular tension. Oh shoot. Alright. Sweet. Alright, uh, okay. Alright. Sweet, I got an extra part just in case. Ooh. I almost got caught up on that uh that table there. Alright. Like I said, right now we're just trying to. Our goal is to basically just level up things. Cover is definitely your friend in this game, but not just keeping your distance. Right also, another thing I want to show you. Your body is actually a weapon. You do like a point of damage when you roll or a couple of points. So you can roll through those weekend pieces. Save your bullets. Uh, uh, has limited bullets. Like. Alright. We've got two blue chests, two keys. Uh, what is this? Remote control bullets. The unseen hands. Let's see what they do. I know what they do, but let me show you what they do. Uh, all projectiles can be guided after they are fired. These tiny engines can be controlled remotely, allowing the wielder to change trajectories at will. Now, uh, they're a little strange to see. I can bend the bullets and hurt them. Um, well, but uh, we'll see how they go. If I don't like them, I'll try to do it. All right, and then the other one. Get, oh, Luxon Cannon. I'm the crone. The Luxon Cannon is a pretty pretty decent starting gun. Rapid fire with a big finale. This tricky prism requires guile to wield, but with the right lens, but, but with the right lens, fire shreds of solidified light that slice enemies in their paths. Falsely rumored to have natural healing abilities. Uh, it's basically because it's a crystal. Uh, I'm explaining the jokes. I'm not going to explain the jokes. I'll try not to. The Luxon Cannon is pretty good. Uh, it's a good weapon to take down. Oh, uh, here we go. First boss here is the Gatlin Wall. We can see some of the absurdity of this game. Mm. Alright, and if I can beat this boss... <laughs> I love that. If I can beat this boss without taking a hit, I can get an extra heart rate. a swarm of newborn bullets is released hungry for their first meal. This is actually a really good gun. It's single fire, 120 bullets in the, you know, for total for the gun. But uh, it's really good because it kind of acts as a shotgun. I'm going to buy another key. And we're going to Oh, wait, I don't, I don't know why I did that. All right. So we're at the end of the first floor. 
I gotta do 10 push ups because we're going down to the next floor. Oh, that brings our total to 30. I promise you the push ups will get higher later. Like I said, I'm pretty good at this game. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Ugh. Don't get old, guys. All right, here we go. We're in the Gundren Gundren proper now. This is the actual Gundren's floor two of five. All right, here we go. As you see, it's it's pretty good. Cool. playing with the quarters. Alright. Sweet armor and um, bullets. We're gonna actually step in the looks of Canada use later. Alright, so first things first, one of our early objectives, be stop playing with the quarters is uh, we're gonna wanna buy this Prime Primer. Um, this is kind of a spoiler for you guys, but it's part of the uh, progressing the game. Now, although this is a roguelike and you die over and over again, there is a progression to the game. Um, in order to use the gun that can kill the pass, you have to make the bullet that can kill the pass first, and that is one of the first steps. Uh, we can't afford it right now, we're not gonna be able to, because uh, we bought stuff on the first floor. We've got some irradiated lead, the SAAA, the SAAA, SAA, uh, a key, which we're gonna probably wanna come back and buy later. And what is this? Oh, oh, we got our first locked room. Hi, bubs. All right, so you see the lock is not gonna let us in. We have to get the golden key. Stop it. Come here. All right. So we'll come back when we get the golden key. It is somewhere on the floor. It'll always be on the floor. All right, we went that way. Oh. Okay. What's wrong? You've got food. You want me to pay attention to you? That was a cat break. Cat break. All right, here we go. Bubs, uh, come here. Sit. Come on. Sit down. No, he doesn't want to. He wants to say, he wants me to love him. He wants to just sit in my lap all day. <laughs> That's a cat for you. He wants what he wants. Ooh, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
tank where it's good as that it's so far in the state. Oh, green chest. We're gonna take the green. Uh, the charmed bow. I don't know if this is trash, but it's not as great as what I got. Charms temp air, 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 charmed bow. And it's got like a little emoji arrow or a icon arrow. Charge. Charms enemies temporarily. The preferred bow of pride of Venus of the pride of Venus before her fall. While its arrows deal little physical damage, they are coated in a potent hallucinogen. Even a slight scratch will conf can confuse friend and foe. Uh, we'll, we'll use it just to, so you can see how it works or how it charms and it's actually pretty useful, especially if you have bad weapons. But I have a pretty good weapon right now, so. Uh, ooh, we got our first. A shrine for a forgotten bullet who laid down his arms. Will you? Um, basically, what this shrine does is if you give up the gun you have held, it restores, I think, a heart of health. Um, but I haven't got hit yet, so. Alright, let's keep it moving. There we go. Boom! Yes! I no hit run of the ammo. 
Wakanda. I unlocked the iron coin. Oh, so there's the second chamber. This, uh, the Master on second chamber. That gives me an extra part. As you see, I have eight now. And one of my favorite guns in the game, the Mega Hand. It is a riff on the Mega Buster from Mega Man, if you did not know, if you couldn't tell. All right, got the iron coin. Let's see, Master Chamber. Uh, the second round master chamber it's passive this potent artifact indicates mastery of the second chamber basically i beat the second boss without taking a hit any who enter the dungeon are doomed to remain living countless lives in an effort to break the cycle which I, you already know because i told you but that's a nice little tidbit you're stuck in the dungeon once you get in there forever all right mega hands charged it's a charged weapon uh the mega hand is a relic of the 10 days war against the robots. Uh, that's a shout out to you Mega Man fans. The most powerful robot masters would modify this for their own styles of combat. This one is basic, but still works well. It acts actually really good. And so uh, we're definitely gonna run with that for right now. Uh, you'll see how the Mega Hand works. There we go, you can shoot the little But that's what we're gonna work with right now. See if there's anything back in the shop on the bottom. I don't think there's any keys. Oh, there is a key. Let's take this key. And uh, we're actually going to go to that blue room. And it's always a good idea. It's never a good idea to just leave boxes behind, even if they're trashy boxes, because you can shoot them and get loot out of them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see what we can do. Junk. Next time, use a key. All right. So I did get junk. So that's more push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. We're up to forty. Forty push-ups. Uh. Let's look at junk. Now there is a special version of junk that you can get. I won't. Spoil it now because it will come up later. Junk. Next time, use a key. It's passive. Just some junk. Junk does nothing. Um, it actually does do some things, but right now it does nothing. Uh, you can't charge it up. You have to use it. All right, just make it work. All right, Mega Man. We're going. Or we're, Mega Man. We're going with the Mega Hand, and let's go down to the next floor. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Oh, whew. All right, feeling good so far. Fifty push ups in. Right, it's black powder mine. Boom! Boom! Shotgun modified for easy concealment. The shorter barrel widens the spread, but up close, it's just as deadly as its full barrel cousin. Uh, which is true. It's not a terrible gun. I just have better guns right now. It's a good starter. Ooh, okay, sweet. All right. Let's let up our shot there. So, get some frost bullets here. Those are pretty good. Two keys. That's pretty good. But here's the important thing. This guy right here, he takes guns, takes two of your guns and gives you a random gun. All right, so I'll give the charm gun in there, or the charm bow. Um, 
Let's see, in the sawed off. In the sawed off is not, not a good goal right now. I have two better guns. What are you doing? You looking at birds? All right, oh, and uh, what did we get? The skull splitter. Hard headed. <laughs> All right, semi automatic. Even in death, bullets fly. Even in death, bullets fly. This gun was crafted by Nugin, Nugin the Cursed. Doesn't matter. Nugin the Cursed from the skeleton of a gun dead that had become a specter. Nugent's body still remains deep in the hollow, and it is from his bones that all curse arises. Oh, that's that's cool. That's some lore there for you. Some lore. Alright, let's keep it moving. Go back to my yet it's automatic an abomination this dark weapon was assembled from a fallen adventure spinal column in an AK-47 frame when Nugent was first exiled from his hometown he would homeland he was heartbroken in his pain he turned to the gun uh, it's a pretty good gun let me show you the, the fires the ghosts basically that are linked to together the skull splitter now granted the skull splitter it's, it's an okay gun then. Uh, you can normally kind of aim the guns around, or aim the heads around to kind of lock into enemies. Uh, but it kind of breaks that when I have the uh, ability to do it myself. Move bullets around myself. Alright. Let's keep it I hate that I had to use that, so I'd rather, much rather use it on the boss. But I didn't want to take another hit this early. Oh, another green. Fortune's favor, used for luck. Alright, so you can only have one active item at a time unless you get a, like a certain item or you play as the rogue. So, uh, Enemy bullets go wide. Basically, it makes bullets just not hit you. An experimental device worn by a particularly lucky gunjineer. In the end, it wasn't enough to save her life, but certainly extended it. And that's pretty much how it goes. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get all our supply drop. Oh, okay. 
So here is our second piece of the bullet that we can pass. We're going to go ahead and try to get it. You have to basically ride your little coaster along. You have to ride your coaster to the coaster. Boom! Ah, oh, shoot! You can only carry one thing or another. You can't carry both. All right, so we're gonna leave the arcane gunpowder because we're just trying to end it. Bubs, what are you doing? What are you doing near that microphone? All right, here we Difficult weapon to use effectively, but powerful in the right hands. The distinctive noise this gun makes is beloved by pinheads. All right. Sweet. All right. So we got. We're going back to the mega hand for a Grab some keys. So we can have some for the next floor. And we just finished the floor, guys. I still have not cut into. Uh, Help, which is actually pretty good. Uh, this makes this a pretty good run. All right. Oh, let's get the 60 out of the way. Oh. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. Oh, here we go. Whew. All right. I know this sounds like I'm not doing a lot of push-ups, but I'm actually doing very well right now. Woo! Like some of this stuff, I don't know how I'm holding it all. Alright! 
Um, jammed enemies do double damage to you, and they usually have higher health, but that guy is actually pretty weak. He's just jammed by the fall. That guy that gets sunk. the vertebrae K47, now that I'm saying it, now I'm thinking about it, it's because it's the AK-47 and the vertebrae, vertebrae K, alright, I'm stopping, that and the skull splitter, let's see what I get. Oh, the quad laser, no one can defeat it, alright, the quad laser is, um, actually, Let's, let's just read it. No one can defeat it. Semi-automatic. This strange artifact fires an extremely powerful blast of gloom energy. While incredibly slow, it cannot be halted. Now, uh, I'm going to fire one time just so you can see what it means by incredibly slow. This is me aiming it. This is me moving it around. Look at it. But if it hits, my 
my lord if it hits. Oh man. And that is a uh that's a pretty good pickup right there. Alright. We're gonna save that. We're gonna save that and we're gonna use the McCubies in the next hand. It has not finished yet. Got him. Increases blank, increase blank regeneration. The white one stone grants and spare an additional blank every on every floor. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and open it since I have some left. Ah, oh, there we go. The barrel. Nothing easier. <laughs> I'm see if you guys can. That's fun. Um, Semi-automatic. Even mentioning guns in the gungeon can have some strange effects. This is an old idiom that has been given physical form through simple repetition. Basically easier than shooting a fish in a barrel, if you guys don't get it. Note, words are the gungeon's second language, so slight inaccuracies may occur. So, you know, there's nothing easier than shooting fish in a barrel. Guess what the barrel shoots? It shoots fish, guys. It shoots fish out of the barrel of the gun. That is a barrel. This is, this is why I love this game. Alright, alright. We're done with this. Let's actually go fight this boss. And we'll, we'll see. We're going to go in with the quad laser. If things get hectic, we'll uh, switch to the grenade launcher. Right, here we go. Oh! The wall. Wall monitor. Alright. have a chance to ignite enemies so light them on fire this en enchanted copper amulet was forged deep in the forge warm to the touch all right and i gotta go heal that the damage i took off uh one cool thing about playing with this particular character is if you have if you have armor it appears in the form of a helmet if you don't have armor you'll see he's, he's a black dude he's having like, some of Alright. That was rough. Um, let's go back to the mega hands. Let's make our way down to the last regular stage of the gungeon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is that? I don't even know how we are how many we are. Is that sixty or seventy? Is it sixty or seventy? I don't know. We'll figure it out later when I do the editing. <laughs> Alright, Forge, Chamber 5. I'll probably get hit a bunch of this. I love the mega hand. I'm 
like one shot at these enemies right now. And no, one shot at enemies right now. Beehive is nature's gun. Give it a good shake and let the bullets fly. <sighs> it, they literally... It shakes out bees. And the bees sting enemies to death. And I'm... That's, that's about as accurate as it could be with the description for that gun. Alright. Oh! Oh! Thank goodness. Alright. Got some decent weapons. Let's go ahead and talk to her. 
It's been a long, very long time since anyone has come down here. Come to kill in your past. You made it further than the most, that's certain. If you thought it was going to be that easy, I have some bad news for you. I mean, for me. The gun that kills the past, like everything else, it needs ammunition. Otherwise, well, what stop time to use? What stop time here? That's old magic. You find the gun and be fired, but how far back will you go? You might just find yourself back right back here again. That's how the game works. You, you beat it and you end right back up at the beginning of the dungeon. You want to get out of this place and change something about your past, right? To tear a hole that far back, you'll need a special bullet. I can make it for you, but the materials might prove hard to find. Tell me what you need. To make the bullet, I'll need the prime primer, some arcane gunpowder, a shard of planar lead, and an obsidian shell casing. And, uh, we already have one of those. No, I left it. You know what? Ugh. We'll, we'll come back later and we'll get those four pieces. Bring all that to me over many lifetimes and I will aid you on your quest. Alright. Let's keep it moving. speed and damage. This treat was originally created as a reward for Winchester's game of skill, which uh, we haven't unlocked yet. So you can actually play Winchester's game of skill once you save Winchester. Uh, I think that's everything. So, let's head back over here. We got some good money. Do we want to buy a new gun? Some health. Let's buy health because uh, I think we're good on guns. I got Scrambler, the Luxon Cannon, the Beehive, the Quad Laser, the Grenade Launcher. So I think I think we're good. We're gonna start off with the grenade launcher on the boss. And huh? Let's hope for the best guys. Here we go. It's 
state the boss to find a boss. strong enough to jack it planar lid. So we're going to uh, go ahead and take this back. We're back. I have something for you. Give you the obsidian shell casing. Boom. This, uh, this was a very successful first run of Enter the Gungeon. Whew. Can't believe we've already beaten the first boss.
back in the uh, stronghold. We'll see what items we can buy from those uh, two people we saved, and we'll play as a different character. And uh, hopefully, we can make it through like we did in that run, because that was pretty good. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take it easy. Okay, okay, dang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, happy. Huh.